Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex and Crafted here with a new Minecraft Let's Play. I know, I've not done one of these in a while. But, Minecraft is really popular again and it makes me really happy because I love Minecraft. And I was just really wanting to play Minecraft. There's an Illager Outpost, or a Pillager Outpost right over there. So, that's what we're going to do at some point. I'm not going to do it today though because Pillagers would just destroy me today. But, we're just gonna just play some good old survival, but with shaders, because shaders are awesome. So, I kind of want to find a place to live really fast. So let's see here, let's run around a little bit. I know, let's see here, is that a plane's bomb over there? Yeah. So my FPS is a little wonky right now, I don't know why. Um, but I will have it fixed here soon. Probably for the next video. We'll just go to the other side of the outpost and see what's over here. I mean, a village would be awesome. Right away. Oh, speak of the de- <laughs> Hey, look at the village! With a forge, too! Or a blacksmith! Okay! <laughs> That's perfect. Let's see here. A uh, whole bunch of food, a whole bunch of iron. That's awesome. Okay, so, I mean, we, we've got some gear now. We can uh, get some wood, get into the mine. We'll probably set up somewhat close to this. Oh, that's, that's a nitwit. Are you a nitwit too? Yep. I rang the bell, I scared him. So you're a farmer, right? Yeah. Not bad trades, not bad. God, when did your farms get so tiny? So I remember before you could uh, find a villager farm or find a villager or village and they'd have like three or four of these gigantic farms but now these are like super tiny and I don't have any wood at all either so I can actually use um, any of the iron that I was uh, so generously gifted hi oh man you guys are all so that's what I, I remember now they're all gonna be nitwits until I find something to uh, like a lectern or something like that oh this building is huge it's got a brewing stand. That's awesome. So I was thinking too. And we'll just see how this goes. See if Minecraft still works on my channel at all. Um, but I was seeing maybe we'll try the uh, random loot drop uh, challenge or whatever that's called now. Or ra like loot tables are swapped, something like that. And that might be fun. So we need we still need to find a nice place to set up shop too. Because I'm probably going to stay near the village because that's a ton of easy loot, plus the villager trades are going to be pretty easy, uh, pretty nice, unless I get lucky and get a wandering trader soon. Even though, from my experience, they don't have a lot of stuff that I actually need. See, here's the tough part. Where do I want to set up? Do I want to set up on like that hill there? Look down over the pillagers. Do I want to set up over on that mountain there? Look down over the desert. This is a tough choice. Let's check out this mountain over here first. Man, I wish you could do two things at once since you've got the offhand slot. Like, why can't I eat while I'm while I'm mining my coal? I mean, I could I could do both at the same time, right? Only need one hand to swing a pickaxe. So I don't remember, when do pillager, like, scouts start coming? Is it, what, three in-game days or five in-game days? Something like that. Because I know they're going to be really annoying when they start coming. Because then I have to deal with not killing the the uh, chief or whatever. Because then I'll get a, get a nice, happy... I don't want to raid. I'm not ready for me. And I don't want all those vill I don't want all those villagers to die just yet. Ooh, I actually want to live over. I think I want to live over by that lake. Maybe up here. Yeah, right up here might actually be where I go. But I'm liking I like that lake too. I might actually try to mine into the forest a little bit. And that's unless that is right on the side of the uh 
Right next to the pillager outpost. Ooh, that was close. Let's work our way back to the village real fast. And we'll see. We'll run straight towards the lake that I was looking at. And if the village pillager outpost pops up, then we'll know that that's probably not the best idea. Still can't believe the odds. As I'm saying, well, you know, it'd be nice to find a village. Bam, village. You could always set up up here too. Back up on this uh, outcrop here. I don't think outcrop is the proper word there, but. This could be cool. Like we could make a little lake down there. Yeah, that's, I think I'm actually gonna do that. We'll fill in the plains biome with a bunch of trees, make it look natural. Make it look more like a forest. I think that'll be fun. We're gonna do that. And my axe is about to break probably in two more. Like this. Oh, pfft. there it goes. So we'll clear all this out, and then it'll also give me the saplings I need to uh, make a artificial forest down at the uh, in the valley. Or not the valley, the plains, because it's not a valley, it's just a plain. Plus, I'm waiting on Jewel to send me just the RL craft file or world save, because he's not a fan of it. He's probably finished with it, but. I want to keep playing RLCraft. I enjoy it. So we'll just have a nice big picture window type area here. Because I want the front to be mostly glass. Because then I, because this is, the front is the real viewing area. So this whole area right here is going to be glass. That actually doesn't look too bad. Because this is to be glass above all this. Or do we make it extend out past the edge of the mountain? I actually think this is actually going to look a lot better. There we go. Yeah, that uh, that's going to look really nice. Yeah, so here, we'll, we'll turn this just into an out outdoor deck. And then we'll have a nice, uh, our windowed spot can be over here. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be really nice. Really neat if I can pull it off. Because I'm not the best builder. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that I'm incredible. I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best either. Yeah, I think dark oak floors are gonna be nice. Either that, or maybe trying to contrast it with the birch. Since, well, birch, I was thinking about using that for the walls, but with that desert right there, I don't, I want it to kind of stick out. Like if I'm looking at it from the desert, I want it to stick out a little bit. And if I use birch, birch might be too light against the desert. Kind of want something that will contrast, so I'm thinking, I don't know. I might just use oak for the walls. Cave entrance for right underneath our house, and that I joyously made e made more easily accessible by placing a torch on it. Whew, I almost I almost made a mistake. I know I have a problem. I usually I know I always just start strip mining straight away and just staircasing down to Y level 11, but I don't ever usually just look for a cave and start from there. We'll grab the iron before we check. Just to make sure I remember to remember to grab it, so I know I'll I'll just as easily forget as soon as I uh, as soon as I see it I'll just forget about it. Ooh, and it's a big vein too. Is it a double vein? I think I think this is a double vein. Unless iron veins just have a chance to spawn as 15, which I don't think they do. I think they cap at like 10. Hey there, Mr. Creeper. God, I remember when I panicked every time I saw a creeper. <laughs> Creepers are like, avoid at all costs for me. <laughs> but in reality, they're like one of the easiest mobs to fight in the game. Because they can't hit you right away if they get too close. You have time to get away from them once they start their tr uh, trigger. They can't shoot at you. They can't jump. Or they can't jump at you. They literally just walk towards you and they have to stand next to you for a good two and a half seconds or a second and a half or something like that before they can damage you at all. Whereas a zombie, they get close to you, they just smack you. They can spawn with swords and then they can do even more damage. And if they kill you, then they can pick up your items and use them against you. Skeletons, they can shoot you from a mile away or rapid fire you once you get too close. Spiders, jump at you. Um, they're easy to fight too, though, so. 
the only time a creeper should ever be worried, like you should be worried about a creeper, is if you're not paying attention and one just walks up behind you. Oh, we've already got 29 iron. Let's go. And this cave goes down too. Oh, it goes into a ravine. Heck yeah. It sounds like there's more than one skeleton under me too. I don't like that. Skeletons are probably one of the most. Whoa! Did you see that cobblestone just launch? Early game, I think skeletons are probably the most lethal enemy. Just because they can hit you from so far away. And I haven't made a shield yet either, so. That's on my to do list. Especially if there are more than one skeleton over there. I mean, I, I can get them to fight each other, but that means that I'm probably going to take a hit or two before I get them to hit each other. Oh, I don't like this. This is too open for me. No. You bitch. Uh oh. No, go. What are you doing? I'm not really worried about the creepers, the zombies right now. I mean, that one creeper got me because I couldn't get away fast enough. But he didn't really do any damage. <clears throat> Alright, so this cave, this ravine, looks like it's going to be a little bit more dangerous than I was expecting. So I'm going to just head up now. And get this iron cooked up that I've got. <sighs> Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> Uh, we'll get this iron cooked up that I've got, and uh, we'll just go from there. Yep, there's the husk. You guys make creepy sound effects. I don't think I've ever actually listened to a husk before. Where do you drop? Just an iron egg. Heck yeah! I was like, wait a second, that doesn't look like rotten flesh. Here, let's see here. Is it like this. Shields made. There we go. I I did. I really didn't want to use the crafting guide for it. I was determined to not have to do that because I always do it for that. I don't know why. Because the shield is not a very hard recipe. Ah, oh, we're just rolling in the iron now. This is glorious. Look at that. Still 36 left. We've got all the tools we need. Got full set of armor, full set of well, full set of the tools that I use, bucket, shears, shield, everything. We are golden. Alright, I think that is a good place to wrap it up. Anyway guys, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna try to get a new video out for you guys every week. Um, I'm gonna try to upload more often, because I know I've not been very good at that one a week thing. Um, but I'm gonna recommit to this channel here, try to make it something great. Um, yeah, if you guys want to help the channel grow, hit that share button, share to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you feel right. Make sure you follow my social media because I do live stream on Twitch. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody.